Good evening. Thank you for joining us. My name is Shalia Ben. I'm the Assistant Director of the Native American Arts Program and Community Outreach here at Idlewild Arts. On behalf of Idlewild Arts, I'd like to respectfully acknowledge the Kawishba Kawiekna, also known as the Kawia Band of Indians, and all nine sovereign bands of Kawia people who have stewarded this land for generations and continue to steward this land for all future generations. This evening, I welcome you to the Michael Cabote Artist Talk series. Before we get started, I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Agua Caliente Band of Kawia Indians, the Chickasaw Nation, San Manuel, and an anonymous foundation. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Joe Baker and Teria Smith, who are our senior consultants to the Native American Arts Festival Week. Thank you so much. Be sure to join us at idawildarts.org forward slash creation to take a look at the online exhibition and take a look at our past uh, artist talk series. Big shout out to Christy Scott who organized all of that. This evening, we have the honor of hearing from Jordan Ann Craig. Before we get started, I'll turn it over to Nina Sanders, the curator of At Creation. Nina? As a Cheyenne woman, Jordan exhibits gifts that undoubtedly tether her to her ancestors. Her innate understanding of color and form, the importance of symmetry in aesthetic appeal, and most importantly, an understanding of the world around her makes her work significant and charismatic. Jordan takes design traditions and reconfigures them to integrate modernity in its most exuberant form. She effortlessly achieves a precise sophistication in the spirit of historic design traditions making her beau ideal for the construction of new narratives in contemporary Native art. Hi, my name is Jordan Ann Craig. I am a painter and printmaker. Currently, I am based in Powake Valley in northern New Mexico. I am originally from the Bay Area, born and raised. I'm Northern Cheyenne and I'm a painter and a printmaker. So I'm sitting in front of two of my pieces, part of the creation show. And I made these in 2020 and 2020, yeah, both 2020 actually. <laughs> so these are um, pretty current paintings made in the pandemic. When the pandemic hit, I was doing a residency at in Roswell, New Mexico at um, RARE, Roswell Artists in Residence Program. And it's a pretty rural town in Roswell, known for its aliens and farms and small town life. And so when the pandemic hit, I was already pretty much in isolation. So um, living in my own house and studio, um, that being said, my sister moved in with me right when the pandemic hit officially really became more um, of a huge problem. So um, when it first hit, we did not do any painting at all. Like big break from the studio. I um, ended up watching a lot of TV, um, watching the news, like updating myself and my sister on what's going on in current events. And so when we were at home, we just were not in the studio at all. And even the communal group of artists around me, we were all not really making that much work. It was a really weird time and scary time. And um, all my neighbors, we all you know, were super distanced from each other and it totally changed the whole experience. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I did not make many paintings in um, the beginning of the pandemic. I picked back up that paintbrush when um, I had a solo show at the Roswell Artist Museum in September of 2020. So I had about 12 to 15 paintings to knock out in a very short period of time. And slowly but surely, me and my assistant, my sister Bailey, got back in the studio and we started working again. And it was really hard at first, but also really rewarding and it felt healing and something that gave us drive and motivation and works that we both were really drawn to. And I made work that was a little bit more playful. I, I played with hot pink and purple and lilac and just different variations of design. And um, it was really inspiring. There were moments that I did not, I still didn't really want to get painting. And Bailey would be like, come on, we got we to gotta start the big one. We got we to gotta get in there. Let's just, let's just start. Let's just do the first step. And how I work is it's like a pattern. Every painting I make, I have to like unravel its pattern to figure out what goes first, what goes second, what 
where, where do I begin? And um, just having her like get that going was really important for my, my work. So the pink painting directly behind me is called Stop Flirting With Me. And it's a crowd favorite, maybe because of the title, but also I would like to say because of the design. Um, it is based off of a Cheyenne beaded pouch. So I, I like to work um, from objects and I like to abstract that object and make a um, painting based off of an original beautiful beaded design. So this piece is about my sister Bailey and her way of um, receiving any sort of compliment in 2020 was to say like stop flirting with me even if it was like from a stranger or from a friend or from someone at the grocery store she would like say that in a really high-pitched cute voice and um, it became like a kind of an inside joke kind of not <laughs> and that was her way of like having humor in a really difficult time and um, the painting I told Bailey this is what the painting is going to be called and she was so excited and I think she likes to tell people what that painting is about because um, it's just like a little tiny moment and um, it's something that'll really, it's so specific to the time and to our relationship and to her humor. And then the painting that's a little, it's almost the opposite. Um, this was painted in December of 2020. So after I'd already left Roswell, this was the first painting I made in my, my new studio in Pewaukee Valley. And um, very muted. I wasn't feeling like doing anything flashy. I just wanted to have the works. Um, yeah, kind of. I wanted to kind of make a sad painting, and this is my sad painting or my attempt at a sad painting. Um, it's called "You're Making Me Blush." It kind of reminds me of um, like lipstick colors from an older woman's collection of lipsticks or a blusher that is just really muted and um, yeah just rosy but not really blushy but not really it's it's a very toned down painting and it's kind of a surprising choice of colors after doing a really bright body of work but I wasn't feeling that happy and I wanted to make something a lot more toned down focusing on the stripes and the pattern and um, making something a little dreary. I think for me, creation is something that has to happen. I've always had a lot of energy and like making art has been something I've been doing for as long as I can remember. I actually had to ask my mom that the other day, like when did I become an artist? Someone asked me that and I had no idea. And my mom said two, about two. She was like so concrete about it. And when I'm making, it just feels right, feels natural. I have so much energy to put into something and I was an athlete growing up, I was a gymnast, I was a pole vaulter, I was training a lot, and I was also doing art, and then to move all my attention to creation has been my full-time job, and that's why I do work that is so physical. It is like, it's exhausting, <laughs> to put it really lightly. It's very meticulous, it's so high pressure. Like, it's, to me, no surprise, I did gymnastics for 10 years because it is as like, intense and um, focus driven as can be and also very like the commitment is there so I would say like even beyond being in a pandemic like creation even though it did not happen in like the height of it um, I have to be doing something or as I just would like not be able to live a normal life <laughs> it's just something I need to have um, in my everyday routine so uh, and as for, uh, am I going to be recreating myself? I don't think so. I think it's something I'm building on. And as my emotions or my stories or my personality and my work develops, I think it just goes into that. And um, I, I don't really, may, I don't really foresee myself like recreating. I think these all my bodies of work are building onto each other. And I am so excited because last week I just started painting again for after doing another break um, and I'm really excited about this new body work it's really different and it could be considered a recreation but it's also if they're all informed by previous works and by future works so yeah that's um, yeah I think I just need to create that's the bottom line <laughs> 
Thank you so much for joining us today, Jordan. Um, it's really great to meet you and have you come out here to Idlewild to you know, experience the campus and to learn a little bit about what we have to do here. And um, I just can't thank you enough for joining us this evening um, at the Artist Talk. Um, when we did the installation of the works in this gallery, I had the opportunity to walk around and to re-look at every single one of the works. And we talk about, you know, the, uh, the disruption that was COVID-19 and 2020 and everything else that came to follow. And I was looking at everybody's works and then I was looking at yours, but your work was what comforted me the most. And I think in a time that is like so, it was so unpredictable. You didn't know what was happening in the next quarter. I really, really appreciated the repetition and the, the structure. Mm -hmm. Like it just like, for me, it was something visually that like was stu stimulating in my mind that, you know, there is a repetition there. There is that continuity and it was, you know, consistent. I don't know if that has to do with any of your work, but that's how I interpreted it after, you know, learning about what they you know what, what you talked about but like it had it took on a different meaning for me i think personally i don't know if that makes sense or anything like that but i do think the horizontal structure is something that is like really comforting and the fact that these were once upon a time like original beaded designs and things that were adorned to be beautiful and to be comforting and to be beautiful so it's like I love that you felt really comforted by these paintings because um, they are just little tiny snapshots of my own little life and my relationship with my family and um, just the relationship with my culture, with being Northern Cheyenne, with being a woman and being a sister and a daughter and um, just this feminine energy about them. I mean, it's about being flirty, it's about being funny, it's about being sad. I mean, they're very emotional, mm -hmm. but they're also very stable and they're right. very almost rigid and like, like they give you that structure to like embrace you in a way. That's what I love the most about it, just that the structure to it, I was just like kept being drawn to it and like it just, was naturally calming so I just thought that was really awesome and then like you, you know the closeness to your sister and working closely with her I my own sister <clears throat> is like you know my best friend so like we always do everything together and so I just had this like affinity to like really gravitate towards your work and so I thought it was really um, amazing so I'm so excited especially when we heard that we were getting stop flirting with me I was like because ah! I'd seen it online and I was so excited for it to be here so thanks so much uh, and, and making these were it was so healing like me and Bailey got so close to the point that we got like separation anxiety when like one of us would have to do an errand because we never did anything alone. We adopted a dog together, Daisy. We would go to the grocery store together. We would mask up and like prepare ourselves. And right. it was like crazy whenever we had to leave, we did every painting together. And there was a time when she started swimming um, at the like rec center, like socially distanced lanes. It was really intense, but mm. she went there a few times and we both were like felt weird. And then finally she was like, oh, did that feel, were you okay? And I was like, I don't think I was okay. You left for like two hours, so I'm not okay. So we just got like almost like uncomfortably really latched and intertwined. And this work is like really, yeah, it, it, especially the one behind me, it's like, it, it is about that closeness and yeah, being sisters is, is like amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. sisters are off. <laughs> well, Again, thank you so much. I hope you come to visit us again soon here at Idlewild Arts. And um, on behalf of Idlewild Arts, I'd like to thank Jordan and all the rest of the artists for joining us in these artist talks. Uh, be sure to join us next Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. If you don't have the opportunity to watch all of the films that we have on, you, on our YouTube page, uh, feel free to go to our website, www.idawildarts.org forward slash creation. Again, my name is Shalia Ben Ahiehet. Thank you for being here and have a terrific evening. Bye-bye.